Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review video on topic 8.12 and 8.13 together, the lethal dose 50% or LD50 and the dose response curve. Okay, so the way I want to put this together here is because lethal dose 50, this is where we're talking about pollutants, right? We're looking at pollutants and toxicity to find out exactly how toxic it is. So this is done in a lab where they typically have a chemical in there and they measure what amount of that chemical kills 50% of the population? That's what is lethal. That's why we call it LD50. Now, this number is decided because it helps us identify if something is more toxic or less, right? So if it's less toxic, it's going to have a very high LD50. It's going to need a large amount of something to kill that much of the population. If it's a very low LD50, that means it's going to be something that's super toxic and can take something out really quickly. So, for example, radioactive polonium is going to be 0 0.0000001, I believe, uh, milligrams per kilo. That's how little of it you need to kill half the population, milligrams per kilogram, right? Whereas something like table sugar, you need something like, I think it's 5.4 kilos per kilogram. Like, literally, you need more sugar per mass of person to try to kill them, right? Um, so that's something that's important, and you will see graphs like this on the AP exam, so be familiar with it. You never know how it will show up. And then the whole idea is a dose-response curve is another form of this. So LD50 is a way of discovering this, or is a way of looking at dose-response, but this is also showing for something like, um, it doesn't have to be death, it can also be efficiency or efficacy, is the term for it, right? How effective is something um, at either killing something or at getting rid of a disease or getting rid of a certain pollutant. So make sure you have those clear in your head. Dose response curve and LD50 are different but similar in those forms. So here's some more links on those if you'd like to learn more about those. Um, and hopefully this has been a little helpful as well. Thank you.